everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and today I wanted to just do a really kind of natural makeup thing and I wanna try out glossy lids because I got a couple of new products that I wanna play with. This is the uh, the YSL Touche Clot. This is like, um, it's like a tinted moisturizer. It's supposed to be very dewy and fresh and all those things. And then I grabbed this Milk, the Gold Foil Face Gloss. Now you can use this on your lids, you can use it on your face, you can use it on your lips. I don't even know, I haven't even opened it. I just saw it at Sephora and I just wanted to try it out. So I have already primed, but the only thing I used was sunscreen. Um, and then I did my normal oil and then I did that, that Becca anti-fatigue stuff underneath my eyes. Um, I didn't really want to prime with anything else because this is more like just a tinted moisturizer and I don't know how it plays with anything yet. So I just kind of wanted to keep it really simple today. And this is in the shade B10 Porcelain. Now the shade range on this is, is a little bit weird. I'm not even sure if this is okay for me. Everything looked really yellow, honestly, um, when I was swatching them at Sephora. But it is a tinted moisturizer, so I usually feel like you can kind of get away with having, you know, not really a match because it's really just something to even out the skin tone, not, not really to do a whole lot of concealing or anything. So we're gonna try this out. All right, let's see what it looks like. Oh, here we go. Oh, ooh. It seems kind of almost whipped or something. Like it's, it's very fluffy um, when it comes out. So I'm just gonna start dabbing this on just like I would any other foundation. Um, and I was just, I don't know, I've been looking for, I just kind of want something that's kind of more like, you know, a tinted moisturizer. Um, we're heading into spring. I don't really like really heavy makeup when it's hot out. I mean, I live in Austin and once it gets hot, it's humid and like, Anything's gonna melt off your face anyway, usually, but I feel like I would rather have stuff melt off a little more natural looking <laughs> than, you know, you have like some full coverage, really matte foundation on that stuff starts to melt off and it just really, really doesn't usually look good in that um, progression. So I wanted to try something a little different. Also because uh, South by Southwest is starting, and actually started today, and my boyfriend and I like to go. We go for a couple of days and it's outside. Sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's raining. Um, you know, we'll be walking a ton. I need something that's gonna hold up all day, but not necessarily be super long wearing. I mean, more like it's going to look okay all day. Like it's, it's going to look okay being really lived in and worn. So that's kind of the look I'm going for here. And so I wanted to just kind of test this stuff out and bring you along with me. That is on. Now, it's very, I mean, it's definitely pretty sheer, but I really, I like that look for right now. That's what I'm going for. And it's kind of nice and glowy. I don't mind it so far. For the under eye, I'm gonna use the Becca Color Corrector, and I'm just gonna use it fairly sparingly. I'm trying not to layer a bunch of stuff up, just because, you know, I'm gonna want this to wear nicely if I sweat. <laughs> For concealer, I'm gonna use the, A the Maybelline Age Rewind, and this I have in Fair, and I like, I, I feel like people, talk about this one a lot um, as a good drugstore concealer and I do like it but to me it's very I don't know it's almost very natural looking like I don't get a ton of coverage with it and that's kind of what I'm going for here so I'm gonna go in with this just kind of even out that area a little bit just brighten it a little bit because I'm also I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna set anything with powder, like nothing. So I'm gonna come in with my, uh, the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Highlighter, and I'm going to just highlight the hollows here on my eyes, and right there, just try to bring those areas out. so they don't look so sunken in. 
I'm just gonna come in with my Fenty Beauty Stick in Amber and I'm going to just kind of lightly contour. I don't want it to be like too crazy. And just on my cheekbones, nowhere else. Then I'm gonna come in with, this is the Milk, this is the Matte Bronzer, this little stick. I haven't used this very much, but I'm going to just kind of put it up here and just give me a little bit of color um, because this is gonna be fairly monochromatic anyway, so just wanna look like I have a tiny bit of color, but not like a contour color, not the, not the cool tone that I use for my contour, but just more of a bronze. I'm actually just gonna come put it very lightly here, like kind of where I would actually get tan. Where I would get sun kissed. Now for my cheeks, I wanna go in with the Glossier. This is the Cloud Paint in Puff. And I'm just gonna put that on with my fingers. This is how I usually do it. I usually put a little dollop on my finger and I put it on my other finger and I go in at the same time because I always feel like they'd be uneven if I don't do them at the same time. I don't know, just something I always do. So I just start kind of past, a little bit behind the apples and then just pat it in, just giving myself some color. And then I bring in my beauty blender and just kind of blend it out. I'm not going to put any highlight on yet. We'll see if we want to use the face gloss for that. I'm going to see how that kind of feels. I'm a little worried about that product, but hey, we're going to try it out. I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Ulta Eye Primer. Then I'm going to come in and just set my eyelids with this L'Oreal Single Shadow. This is in Paris Beach. Just take this big, this is a ColourPop brush. And I'm just going to put that all over the lid. I'm gonna move on to my brows. I'm gonna come in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I have this in medium brown, just because I want to give my brows a little bit more volume. Um, I mean, nothing like crazy or anything, but I wanna make sure they're nice and filled in. Um, and then I'm gonna come in with a gel after this. I'm just gonna, I mean, I'm not like putting more in than I have or anything. I'm not like making them a totally different shape, but I'm just kind of filling in, you know, just where it is already. And when I get to the edge here, I'm just gonna do a little, some little upward strokes and about it, and then I'll come and spoolie that back out. I'm gonna come in with the Hourglass. This is the Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel, and I have this in Soft Brunette. And this has a wand, it's like kind of, um, it's like a mascara wand, but one side is longer and the other side is shorter. So I'm gonna come in with the longer side and I'm just gonna start brushing this up through my brows, like so, and just kind of making them look a little messy, honestly. And then I come back in with my spoolie and brush that out a little bit more. So now let's play with these lids. Okay, this is that milk makeup stuff I was talking about. It's the Gold Foil Face Gloss. It says, Clear high shine gloss with floating gold glitter flex for a dewy editorial glow. Swipe on cheekbones, use as a high shine highlighter, layer over eyeshadow for a glitter, a glitter glossy lid or on lips as a glitter gloss. So, we're gonna try this out. I've never done like the glossy lid look, although I love it, like I really, really like it. So, that's kind of what intrigued me when I saw this product and I was just thinking like, I kind of like those kind of looks for like spring and summer. I don't really like to wear a lot of heavy makeup because like I said, it's humid, it's hot here, and it just, once that starts melting off your face, it looks really bad. I would rather have a very natural look melt off my face because it kind of melts naturally. I have no idea what to expect. They didn't have a tester in the store, so I didn't even, I wasn't even able to touch it. So let's see what this looks like. I think you just use a very, very small amount let me do a little more though for illustration purposes here. So that's what it is. And it's like a clear glittery gloss. Uh, <laughs> who would have expected that? I'm just kidding. Um, it's pretty sticky. Oh, it's very sticky. 
It's super shiny, um, but it's very sticky feeling. I don't know if I would want this on my face a lot. I feel like it would, like on like my cheekbones and stuff, I feel like my hair would get stuck in it. But um, let's just take some of this and let's put it on the lid. Let's see what happens. I mean, it said I could put it over uh, eyeshadow. And I just want to just have a wet, glossy looking lid here. I mean, is that even doing it? Does that look glossy? It just looks sparkly to me. I mean, could I just put a gold shadow on? I don't know. To me, that doesn't look glossy, really. It just looks like weirdly placed gold flecks. Maybe I should try, maybe I'll try a little bit more. Maybe I shouldn't have put it on my hand first. Let's, let's just go in with the finger straight from the tube. I don't know. I feel like I would almost rather not have glitter in it. Is that weird? Because I just kind of would like the wet look, but the glitter, like the way it disperses, because you can't really pick and choose where it ends up, it kind of just looks very sparse and kind of weird. Um, yeah, I'm not real sure about that. I gotta tell ya. And I don't believe this ever like dries, so because then you wouldn't have the glossy look anymore, but hmm, I'm not sure about that. I don't know what to think. I guess I'll have to see how it kind of wears, if it's going to look like crap in like 20 minutes. I've got a little bit left on my fingers. Let's see what happens. It just puts glitter in like super weird spots. Mm. Oh, oh no, no. No, that I do not like. I do not like that on my face. I do not like that on my face at all. Okay, don't put it on your face. On the lids though, I kind of like that weird wet look. Not sure if it's for people my age with my wrinkles and stuff, but I kind of like it so far. I mean, I'd have to play with it a little bit more. Um, but that's why this is an adventure, right? Who knows? I almost wish like it didn't have any glitter in it at all. That I think I would like a lot better. What the? Oh no, that's like disrupting everything. All right, well, we gotta move on. This, I do not believe I will have glossy lids. Cause this is just not looking good at all. And there's like gold weird flecks everywhere now. This, I'm, I'm not even really sure what I was thinking. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I bought this. Let's do some lashes. I'm just gonna use my clump crusher because I don't want like a ton of mascara look. I want it to be a little bit more natural. And for lips, we're gonna go in with, this is the Sephora brand, the Outrageous Plump Effect. Now this is, I have the other one, it's more of a nude shade. This one is just the more pinky one, it just says 01 here. Um, and I just, I don't know, I love these. I don't really think this is gonna give me much color. I'm just looking for the gloss and the, whoa, <laughs> that's in there tight. Um, <laughs> the glossiness of the look and a little bit of the plumping effect. And these are 12 bucks at Sephora, and I just really love them. <laughs> they look great, layered over lipsticks, anything. So there we have it. That was my attempt at a glossy lid. It's, I'm, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I love it in pictures, in reality. It just looks kind of like a mess on my face. So I like everything else about the face. The lids just ruined it. I'll probably just stick to like a shimmery shadow. Um, just something that kind of gives that wet look without it actually being, you know, kind of this wetness because it's like gotten really weird and creasy. Um, and it does say you can put it over eyeshadow and that that is what I did, but it's already looking a little creasy and weird, which I would expect. It's a wet product. And that That's not the problem with it. I just don't think I like the look of it overall, especially on me. 
you know, I got some old eyelids. They're not, you know, young and 20 and wrinkle free. So not a look for me. Everything else I really like though. I do like the overall very naturalness of the look. Just that gold gloss stuff, that just ruined it all. That just ruined it. So, and, and it's sticking to my face. <laughs> Well, thanks for coming on this adventure with me. I would just say that this, for, for me especially, is not really worth it, and it's not something that actually works for me or my general aesthetic. And I'm actually just questioning my sanity on why I bought this today. But in my defense, they did not have a tester out, and I just thought that sounded really cool to be like a face gloss. But this is not it's not where it's at this this is not me okay time out i just redid the whole look using this natasha denona uh, chroma crystal top coat in nude and it is nine thousand times better than this so check it out you got the wet look but none of that weird greasiness it is glittery yes but in a cohesive manner, not just weird foil spackled everywhere. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see what I have coming in the future, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!